Welcome to Off Grid Contracting. And on this wet winter's day, I'm gonna show you a 10KW install that we've done. Uh, this is on block ballast mail. Um, and you can see the wire mesh behind there. That's so to keep leaves and debris, um, wildlife and stuff out of it. Um, the footprint for a 10KW install, you see right here, it's about 30 by 30. That's about the footprint something like this takes up. Um, the service for this project goes directly into the side of the structure, so there's literally not hardly any space that you have to worry about as far as wiring either. Um, so that's a good thing about something like this. If you have the area near structure south facing or south southwest facing, and you can do it on block ballast mount, this saves a ton of money, and it brings you conveniently close to where you need to be um, at a massive cost savings. So with that said, we'll go inside and I'll show you the inside setup. Okay guys, so as far as the inside install goes, what's going on here is you have a transfer switch so that the customer can regulate the system off of their smaller generator. They can literally plug just right into it like we do for tiny house customers. Or they can flip it up to utility, get full charging capability coming into it. You have the input service panel and whether they're running the generator or utility is protected with an EMP shield. It's not powered on right now because neither source is turned on to it at the moment. Uh, but the charge system for it is also protected each DC input with the EMP shield. Also have lightning arrest or system put on it for midnight. And so these charge systems, everything can be added more later, more inverters, more charge controllers. Uh, the battery bank uh, can be added more too as well. These batteries, depending on where our vendor gets them from, they have five to six year warranty on them, so that's an incredible warranty. Um, the Snyders, what's going on here is the output power is going directly down to the, the customer's home for privacy. We're not going to show that, um, but also they can use the power out here in this uh, uh, barn. Uh, they can use it in the garage and everything. They can also send it to their house for backup power, so that's really cool to have her done. It's, a, it's also got the new Connex gateway system on it, so we ran Datacom for them to their structure, to the house so they can actually remotely monitor their system from home. And then when they're away from home, they can log in on their phone and check it out too. So that's really cool nowadays being able to keep up with that. Um, and the control panel out here, they have access to the control panel out here. And then of course they can control it from the gateway system as well. So it's just redundancy once again. Um, and now also, the way that we set this up is that if the customer wants to add more panels later, actually on the structure itself, um, we can actually add more to both charge systems and pop right into that as well. So we really try to design this stuff nowadays where it's expandable and can add more to it, and et cetera. But long and short of it, they have supply power capable from the utility company, supply from the generator. They can put out to their home. They can charge uh, the load demands out here. Um, just redundancy up on top of redundancy. So guys, if you haven't checked us out, make sure to check us out off grid contracting .com. And until we see you again, I look forward to working for you.